Hi guys, and welcome to the third installment of our series about Computer Park Explained. Today, we'll be talking about graphics cards. Now, just a word of warning, it's not as straightforward as uh, the previous parts. There will be some number or numbers crunching involved, so if you're not so good with numbers, it's possibly a good time to take the painkiller right now, so to avoid a headache. Otherwise, let's dive right in. Graphics cards, or GPUs for short, and GPU stands for Graphical Processing Unit, is a part of your computer that is responsible for displaying interfaces and pretty much anything you see on your screen. Nowadays, almost every processor has some sort of GPU unit inbuilt in them, in them but those lack in power and they're just only suitable for the lightest of tasks. If you're thinking of doing any gaming, you will need to buy a dedicated GPU. You have to account for that, the cost of graphics card will take a significant chunk off of your budget for the whole computer, as GPUs tend to be one of the pricier parts of your computer alongside the processor. It isn't easy to choose a GPU as main manufacturers currently NVIDIA and AMD are going through some branding hoops and loops to confuse people to what is an actual upgrade and what is not. But let's try to dissect this a little bit. Generally speaking, the first number in the model name is just a generation number and the number that follows after is a model number. For example, which one is better, NVIDIA GTX 780 or NVIDIA GTX 970? Many are tempted to point at the latter, but this is simply not the case. GTX 970 is indeed of the newer generation, but it is a model below, as you see, 80 at the end versus 70. There are always some performance upgrades from one generation to another, but usually not enough to, ecl to eclipse an older but higher model. And the very same principle applies to AMD. Those are high-end cards and differences are not as big as when you look at the lower end of the market, so this is something to consider as well. But in short, always look at the number right after the first one. And things get even blurrier when you try to choose if to go with AMD or NVIDIA. I mean, performance-wise, respective models will not differ that much. Other aspects might differ, though. For example, AMD seems generally consistently more powerful, but drivers makes those GPUs less stable. NVIDIA has at the moment quieter and more powerful, efficient, power-efficient GPUs. As far as the performance is concerned, differences are minimal and very, very game dependent. Why should what or what should dictate the choice of your GPU is a monitor you will buy, specifically its resolution. The absolute minimum and a standard today is 1920 by 1080 or otherwise known as 1080p or full high definition, full HD. Other popular resolutions are 2560 times 1440 and 3840 times 2160, or otherwise known as 4K. The higher the resolution, the stronger the graphic card need to be. For enjoyable gaming experience, you need enough frame rates, frame rates or frames displayed every second. The absolute minimum is 24 FPS or frames per second. And this is how many FPS human eyes actually perceive naturally. 30 FPS looks a little smoother, but an ultimate sweet spot, a sweet spot is 60 FPS. And this is where things look, look the smoothest. Well, let's do the math based on that. 60 FPS ideal just to visualize how much power we need in your GPU. But let's say 1080p equals roughly to about 2.07 megapixels. And at 60 frames per second, your GPU will need to be able to render out everything at the speed of 124.2 megapixels per second. So that's a lot. Uh, moving on up at 1440p, 
which equals about 3.67 megapixels at 60 fps your gpu will be able to will have to have enough power to render out 220.2 megapixels per second so we're starting to ramp up but let's see 4k i mean 4k is all the buzz nowadays a 4k resolution it's an 8.29 megapixel image and at 60 frames per second your graphics card needs to be powerful enough to render almost 500 megapixels per second as you can see the numbers start climbing dramatically and we're only considering single monitor setups i mean imagine some people have two monitors three monitors or even more in some cases and this is why at certain point at high resolutions or multi multi monitor setups you will need to consider running two or more gpus simultaneously in crossfire for amd products or sli for nvidia products lastly here are my up-to-date personal recommendations based on many years of testing and running various configurations and setups NVIDIA GTX or GT740 or AMD R5 series and below will generally not be suitable for any modern resolution unless you're willing to play at the lowest level of details. Even then, those might not be enough. And the general purpose for them would be media center PCs. NVIDIA GTX 750 and up to GTX 7 960 or AMD R7 series will be good for 1080p gaming, albeit not all games will run at full details. NVIDIA GTX 970 and GTX 980 and AMD R9 series will be good for 1440p resolutions, will run 4K resolutions as well if you run it in 2 plus card setups. And then we have at the top end NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti, the Titan X and AMD highest end R9 series. And those will be the absolute minimum for a single card 4K setups. GPU market is a little bit of a slippery slope and one that is not easy to understand and keep up with. But I really hope that what you just heard will sort of help to solve some of your concerns and maybe explain things a little bit more. Generally, try to avoid looking at the marketing jargon because the companies like NVIDIA and AMD are very, very quick to rebrand their cards and call them completely brand new generation next gen stuff uh, just don't fall for that uh, just keep in mind what i just told you and i'm sure you will be fine well i hope you enjoyed that episode and i hope you will come back for the next one because there will be a next one really soon and um, if you liked it please like it if you dislike it you know what to do you dislike it and leave the comment down below or any questions or suggestions whatsoever well I hope you have a nice day and until the next time.